What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to the second half of the community Q&A stories for nightmares. Really not sure how to title these things, but I was really excited that so many of you guys uh, wanted to join in, take part, share stories. I thought that was really fucking cool. And I guess without further ado, a Spongebob reference, famed Killjoy. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs and afternoon I break my arms. At night I lie awake in agony until the heart attacks put me to sleep. Okay, I'll be serious now. I'd never experienced sleep paralysis until recently, a few months back. I had been drinking pretty heavily, a bit more than I usually do, and I went to sleep. In the morning I woke up. However, something felt strange, and my eyes weren't opening. My mind felt awake, but every time I tried to move my arms or legs, I was met with a weird tingling sensation, almost like the nerves were firing, but nothing was happening. Almost like the nerves were firing, but nothing was happening. It didn't last too long. It only felt like a minute or two, but may have been longer. I'm not sure. It was certainly a weird experience. I didn't see anything during it. Just darkness. I can only describe the experience as surreal. I would constantly hear things from my surroundings, but couldn't move. I could only feel the nerves in my body whenever I tried. I could feel the nerves in my body whenever I tried to move, but felt like I was being weighed down by something. Like I had a cement block on my chest. I'm not sure if it was going to happen anyway, or if the copious amounts of alcohol were to blame. Either way, I'm glad it's only happened to me the once. Yeah, that... that sounds kind of terrifying. Being, like, waking up and not being able to move, even if nothing along the lines of what you hear with, like, normal... like, nightmare sleep terror or sleep paralysis when you wake up and you're still dreaming. But, yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely woken up having slept on my arm funny, and I can't move it for a couple minutes, but your whole body... Ugh, no thank you. Malice Diary. This wasn't a dream. One day, I woke up before my body could. At the time, I had a habit of sleeping under the covers. I would be covered completely from head to toe. It was a pretty bad habit as there were times I wouldn't get enough oxygen, but it was something that I always managed to get out of. This time was different, though. I was awake, but I couldn't even open my eyes. I could feel where my limbs were on the bed, but couldn't do anything more than feel. At first it was fine, as I figured I'd be able to move soon enough, but I remember being slowly deprived of oxygen to the point where I began to panic. Obviously I eventually managed to move, but then I realized the horror that awaited for me. I was still alive. On another note, I dreamt of getting stabbed in the shoulder by a teacher once. I hid in some part of an elevator to escape him, but then I noticed bodies falling down from the upper floor. <laughs> oh man, that... that was a roller coaster. <laughs> First, a, like a legitimate sleep paralysis with suffocation, and then a joke, <laughs> and then another nightmare. <laughs> Jesus, Malice, what's going on through your head? What What's going on up there? I do remember hearing something about humans have some sort of built-in CO2 alarm in their brains and that sleeping under the covers builds up CO2. It doesn't necessarily suffocate you as there's still, like, oxygen coming in, but... The buildup of CO2 can sometimes cause you to feel like you are, because your body's trying to scream at you to get out of that situation. But, I don't know. From Mr. Skyson, I don't generally... I generally don't horror. Too jaded to react properly. More often than not, it is I who scares others, either with my presence or by sneaking up on them. The sneaking up, of course, is just me walking up to them. But they never hear or see me coming and pee themselves when they turn around. 
I did have sort of sleep paralysis once, but it was medicine related, because I don't sleep. Was recovering from a surgery, but still had some of the stuff in my system. Plus a painkiller, I think. I kept dreaming I was in a tomb covered in vines and stuff. Couldn't move, couldn't breathe, and was entirely aware that I was in the dream. For all intents and purposes, I was paralyzed in that tomb. Every so often my lungs would kick back in and I'd breathe again for a bit, but then go back into the tomb. Weird times. For whatever reason, I wasn't even bothered by it. It was more of a, hey, I'd like to breathe, please, thing. Man, that's weird. That almost sounds like... I'm completely speculating here, but a, a lucid dream with sleep apnea? I don't know. So I know apnea is when you essentially stop breathing while you're asleep, which is terrifying in and of its own right. But to me, that almost sounds like you were aware of it happening while you were asleep and your brain just coming up with an idea of Hey, I guess this is what we're doing right now in the real world, so <laughs> why not translate it to the dream? God damn, that's, that's scary. That's really scary. From Bjorn Adele. I got one nightmare of me drifting in a raft like the Life of Pi movie. With me is not a tiger though, but one of our house cats named Pixel. I'm clutching the cat in my arms, absolutely terrified it will get loose and jump into the water. It's an extremely fearful and uneasy feeling. Not for my own sake at all, though, drifting, in the, drifting there in the immense ocean, but for Pixel's safety. And suddenly, he gets loose and runs around the raft. I can't catch him, no matter how hard I try. After a while of me in utter panic trying to catch him, to catch and save my cat, he jumps overboard into the ocean. And there I wake up from the dream, sweaty and tears running down from my eyes. I raise in my bed and see Pixel sleeping in the bed quietly, happily unaware of my dream. Yeah. Yeah, pets dying in dreams is definitely something that I've I've had happen as well. Um, I think I even had a, a nightmare once where my entire family died, but I one that, that sticks with me, because I think it's a little bit more recent, was watching Knox little bastard right here uh, like get killed in front of me can't remember what the like context of the dream was but I woke up really sad and pissed off that Knox was dead and he was just asleep on the bed next to me don't know don't know what happens with those dreams but goddamn they're not fun this one does have a disclaimer at the end saying it is all through Google Translator and not to expect too much but I will do my best to work my way through it. It's a little hard to remember and I'm not even sure if it's a recurring dream, but to go along with the rest of the stories, I'll just start with it. I was living on the outskirts of a city, and there was some sort of large garden or a small forest at the end of my room. I have a good view of the trees, and behind this forest is a section of field, and behind it another plot. One that I have occasionally, some days late in the evening. I can hear a sound which I would describe as chopping wood, which wouldn't usually surprise me because sometimes we do chop wood. But as I said, it was dark and in the evening between about 10 p.m. and midnight, and I'm sure neither my dad or anyone else would have been awake because it would have just been illogical. But I can't explain the sound any differently because it sounded like wood chopping. Okay, I think I got through most of that. I, I realize it's not completely consistent with what was on screen at the time there, but I think I got the gist of it. I've I've definitely had, I mean, I even explained it in the last episode, definitely had dreams where I thought that I was awake and thought that I heard something, and those are absolutely terrifying. Because... Waking up from a nightmare, you realize that it's a nightmare, but waking up from thinking that you're awake and hearing something is, oh man, I don't know. It, it Sometimes it feels like the sound that was in your dream woke you up, 
and you can't tell if it was real or not. And uh, that that's always the scariest part for me is the the line between the dream and reality. But lastly, punished Zack. Okay, so I have a nightmare where I'm having a nightmare, but it's not a nightmare. It's just an ordinary dream where I'm riding a bus about to get off. Not anxious, not, nothing exciting, just about to disembark some ways down the road, all normal like. But I wake up way before I wanted to. In fact, like only a few minutes after I've gone to sleep. So I go back to sleep, rinse and repeat. Insert elements like I get up for a drink and or I stay awake, wondering how this patchy sleep will spoil my day, then start to wonder if I'm actually waking up or if it's part of the dream. Reintegrate and reiterate. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, I f my alarm finds me looking and feeling like some poor sucker from the long dream. Bear in mind your interpretation of anything written words, numbers, and so on, clocks can't be trusted while not sure if dreaming. Not quite sure what that last line is, like, um, you can't trust anything that's written down while you're not sure if you're awake? Huh. That, that does sound really strange, though. Have, have it, eh, has anybody ever had a dream of like an entire day and then wake up to realize that it's the same day. I not like in a groundhog day sense where it's like over and over and over again, but just you remember dreaming the entire day and then you go out and you actually live that day. It, it always, I always end up having like deja vu once or twice afterwards it doesn't happen very often really really rare like maybe two or three times ever but i i vividly remember those like waking up from them and being like what the fuck i didn't go home and go to bed last night why am i waking up right now kind of situation but this has been the community q and a stories for nightmares it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to hear everybody's stories and different experiences and shit like that. And if you have any other ideas for different ones that you'd like to do, I would love to hear about them because, again, I absolutely love involving you guys with different videos and anything, anything, anything at all. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire and I will see you next time.